The woman accused of murdering a mother in a road rage shooting in Haltom City several years ago is now headed to prison. 30-year-old Lanisha McEwen was convicted and sentenced this week for the road rage murder of Claudia Sanchez in August of 2018. Whacked out your own Rito system, man. This week for the road rage murder of Claudia Sanchez in August of 2018. Fox 4's David Centenary joins us live after speaking with the victim's brother. David. Yeah, Blake, this Tarrant County trial, like so many others, was delayed in part because of the COVID-19 pandemic. We're talking nearly five years. But now that there's a conviction, the brother of the victim is taking time to share with us. So this fucking she boom has been just walking around the streets for the last five years. Right. I, I love when they say the COVID pandemic slowed down the courts. Not to mention the crime wave that you know who is you know engaging yeah, man definitely man salute to Aster J man Aster J says ah the most privileged Negroes say that shit <laughs> yeah I think you're talking about fucking Sonny Houston man um yeah definitely salute to my man Gil B Jeffrey why he says I'm Jeff, Chef, I be coming on live for my live, for my lived life. <laughs> Salute to Jeff, Chef, man. Yeah, man, hit the link, link in the description box, man. But this, this, this thing has been walking around the streets for the last five years because COVID backed up the system. Art because of the COVID nineteen. We got thirty five years. Think about it. This is this is this is. She did something that the judge said, I'm giving you 35 years in prison for. And she's been just walking around the streets for the last five years. Think about how many fucking sons we got walking around like that. And, and she doesn't give a fuck because she's probably like, damn, I killed this bitch. They got it on camera, da, 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 witnesses. Man, fuck this shit. I, I don't give a fuck about nothing. Right. She she has nothing to lose, even though she probably has like five kids. Yeah. Trial, <laughs> like so many others, was delayed in part because of the COVID-19 pandemic. We're talking nearly five years. But now that there's a conviction, the brother of the victim is taking time to share with us his message. It was a great loss to our family. It's been nearly five years since 33-year-old Claudia Sanchez, a single mother of three, was murdered. She called her the N-word, I bet. Murdered in an act of road rage. Her killer is now sentenced to 35 years in prison. It doesn't bring my sister back, but man, it sure does feel good to know that justice was served. Rudy Sanchez Espinoza is talking about the conviction of 30-year-old Lanisha McQuinn. McQuinn was a passenger in an SUV traveling along Roxy Street and Stanley... She wasn't even driving. <laughs> he wasn't even driving, old bull dyke. He a bull dyke, man. Old Manny Fresh bull dyke. Look. McQuinn. McQuinn was a passenger in an SUV traveling along Roxy Street and Stanley Keller Road in Haltom City. At the time, police said there was an argument with another driver about driving too slow. That driver threw... Listen, a listen, man, let me just tell you, and I know there's things that probably happened after that. Listen, if a sudden man, if you're driving too slow, man, switch lanes and let that sudden man go, man. A son, or and I'm calling her a son, man, because she's a bull dyke. Yo, I think on burritos will die over some shit like that, won't they? Um, I got two on burritos up here. Can y'all tell me on burritos, the on burrito mine, would you you'll die over like somebody driving too slow? Nah, hell nah. Nah, I don't really give a shit, bro. You'll go to prison over it though, right? I mean, I mean, I'm sure there's guys out there that if there's more to it, but not just off of that alone. Nah, definitely. Well, sons will die. With that shit. Look, look, I, look, Ignatian, you know, take he word of advice to all of y'all pay close attention. With some people, if you drive too slow, 
if you drive too fast, you're in danger. So you could you gotta have to find that that fine line, you know. Good luck. Six lanes, if you or if you cut in line. Yeah. It's, and it's, anything you do, you just gotta you know you just gotta find that like that yeah. fine line. Be it's careful. Death sentence, man. It, it, you know you know that's why some people always say ringing a doorbell isn't a death sentence. Using a counterfeit bill isn't a death sentence because they know everything. They're projecting everything. <laughs> everything you do to them. Is a death sentence, but right? You know so yeah, Damn. it's all a death sentence, man. And, and I'm telling you, man, a lot of people. That's why I ask, cause I I, I know some people. Some people would right. die over like, that shit, man. Like I like if you don't make eye contact, or if you do make eye contact, yeah. man, shit, man. man. Listen, man. <laughs> listen, man. Let them stay in the club. They shoot it up. You kick them out. They shoot it up. <laughs> Right. You know, you know what happened, you know what happened to me once. Uh, I was I used to live in Harlem, right? And uh, it was near Strivers Row. It was a nice, nice part. But so I'm walking behind this this, this one guy, sagging pants, a couple of young girls with him, and twenty dollar bills are just falling out of his pants, literally falling out of his pants on the street, right? And I walked up, mistakenly walked up to him, and said, "Hey." You just lost a bunch of money on the street, and I almost got killed for that. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it would have been better to just cross the street, or not if you'd have crossed the street and been like, "Hey, man, that dude probably took some." Like, it there's nothing you can do. Just get away, man. Just get away. Man. There's nothing you can do, man. Conviction of 30-year-old Lanisha McQuinn. McQuinn was a passenger in an SUV traveling along Roxy Street and Stanley Keller Road in Haltom City. At the time, police said there was an argument with another driver about driving too slow. That driver threw a lug nut at McQuinn. McQuinn fired a handgun. Sanchez was a passenger in the other vehicle. She was shot in the head. So both the two passengers... So she was the passenger too, and the other girl was a passenger. Wow, that's just fucking crazy. Man. She so she's not even driving, bro. Yeah, and the passenger, whoever she was with, um, she threw a lug nut at that car. Oh yeah, you throw a fucking lug nut at the sun first. They got a gun. Oh my god, yeah, like are you fucking crazy? They brought this on themselves, man. Through a love nut. Yeah, I would have shot you too. In the other vehicle, she was shot in the head. I was at home and I'll never forget the phone call. My mom called me frantic that they had shot my sister. Sanchez's brother says while waiting nearly five years for the case to go to trial, he's noticed all sorts of reported road rage incidents across North Texas. Road rage, road rage, mother killed, father killed, and it's just, it makes no sense whatsoever. No sense whatsoever. He says he hopes his sister's killer comes out a better person once her 35 years. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe. She's not, she's not, I, look at those, she's not changing. Oh my God. You know, you, know that Billy, you know that Billy Joel song, Don't Go Changing? Yeah. She's, changing. But, she's not going to change. I guess people just say stuff because they, they have to because they're being because they, they have they're, mouths. They're, yeah, they, they got mouths. He talk he talking because he got a mouth. That's all. <laughs> you, right. you take a look yeah. at Whoopi Goldberg cousin right here. All right, right. Look at Yo, her. I do you do you do? I don't do road rage anymore. Do you? I don't. I don't entertain yeah. that shit no more. Oh no, man. Listen, man. I don't even like when I see a sun person driving around me. If I'm driving and I see a sun person car. I'm like, oh shit! I because I, I know how fucking troublesome. Like some right. people troublesome, man. I just try to stay away from some people like that. Right? Just, like, like know? there's been like a few moments where it's harder than than not. But I don't do road rage, man, because uh, especially considering like you just said, you know, these guys are on bond for crazy shit, so you don't know who's out yeah. here. Yeah, you just gotta, you just gotta. You just got to fucking, I mean, <laughs> listen, man, I would put it like this, man. If I, if, if I saw a son person driving, like some homies look like, you know, look like me, some sons that look like me driving in the car near me, right? I would let them just go fast. I, you know what I'm saying? Like, uh, yeah. Let them go. Like, 
why are you like driving in front of them? Like let that right. Like 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 if I see if I see what a son a son man like switching lanes, speeding, yeah. man, go right ahead, big bro. Yeah, go ahead. Get the get out of my life. Right, right. Y'all be People trying to be- y'all be like trying to like keep them in your life and shit. Right. And just be wondering like why shit right. right, go ahead before the world becomes too big for uh, too small for the two of us, man. Yeah, go ahead, man. Oh, that's my philosophy with sons anyway. Yeah, go. Well, sure, you got it, man. Uh, you stand in line, bro. Nah, go ahead, bro. <laughs> right, <laughs> right. We really with everybody, but especially go ahead, um, man. Go on about your day. Check out and leave. <laughs> like, I'm not stop. I'm not letting you stand behind me. Now you're here around me longer because you stay. I don't know how my long my transaction will last. That you're around me longer. Go. <laughs> right. <laughs> But, but you, you you don't get you don't get tired of you don't it isn't like where are you to the point where like you I mean you lose patience and whatnot. Well, no, I mean I'm around sons all the time, and it most sons you don't know, deal with like the, it's the certain element of the sons that are like that. So it's like a fucking most son people you encounter in the grocery store or in your travels, they're not going to be like problematic. But if there's a problem. It's gonna be a son, so it's like oh, it's, it's, it's 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 pretty much like like that. So it's the same thing with the shooting. It's like 